Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 really easy iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed iPhones are of course packed with features and just playing around with your iPhone You will find different features and tricks that you never knew before so in this video I have 10 of those 10 really easy tricks that you probably never used on your device but are very useful and will make your life easier using your iPhone on daily basis. Now before we get into that I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so subscribing to the channel would mean a lot for me it would help the channel a lot. So please if you appreciate the work on the channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button it really helps out a lot. And let's get started with the first one. Whenever you're on an app on iOS, maybe you're reading something or you're just on an app, you will see this bar right here. You probably know that you can actually just move around like this, but did you know that you can just tap there? So whenever you see this, you can tap here. So if you have something that you're reading here, of course, you don't want to cover it with your finger. You just tap and once you hear the vibration, you can actually move the finger anywhere you want on the screen and still use this to move around on any list or any text that you have on your iOS device. Here's a really useful iOS feature that a lot of people don't know about or don't ever use on their device. You can actually share a contact using AirDrop. So if someone asks you for one of your contacts, you will probably try to tell them the phone number or the email, whatever you want. You can just simply share it with AirDrop. And with iOS 16, it's much better because you can actually choose which fields of that contact you want to share. But of course, it works on iOS 15 as well, but you will just share the whole contact card. So just go to your contacts app or to the phone app to the contact that you want to share and you will have right here share contact. Just tap on airdrop and right here we'll see the list of devices. You tap on share and this is what the other device will receive. You can see the contact card right here. All they have to do is tap save or of course they can use any of the phone numbers right here even without saving the contact to the device. Now here is something really cool that you can do on your iOS device. You can easily create a slideshow on your iOS device simply by creating an album and placing the photos there. The photos that you want to use for that slideshow. Once you have done that, inside of the album, tap the three dots right there, tap on slideshow, and you have a slideshow which you can, of course, airplay anywhere you want. So you tap right there. You can airplay it maybe to your Mac or to your TV. And of course, you will also have the options right here. Now, the options allow you to change the theme. So you have different themes right here. You will have music so you can choose between different theme musics and also your music library. So you can pick any song from your music library and add it to the slideshow. You can enable a repeat and also change the speed in which the photos will change. Now this right here is really cool. You know, on iOS, we have an option to record the screen of the iPhone. Well, what's really cool is that you can also do a voiceover. So right here, once you tap 3D touch on the screen recording button on the control center, you will have a button for the microphone. Now this means that it will enable the microphone of your device. So if you tap right there, you can screen record and also do a voice over. So if you're just recording something, maybe you're trying to explain something to someone, you want to send them a screen record, you can do that. Go ahead, enable the microphone, start recording, and now you can just record the video and also do a voice over. This trick right here will let you convert any note you want into a PDF file in a few seconds. The easiest way to convert a note into a PDF file, just tap the share button right there and tap on markup and there you have it. Now this is a PDF file. So of course you will have all the tools right here, but if you just don't want to edit anything, you just want to convert it into a PDF file, all you have to do is tap the done button and now you can go ahead and save this to your files, of course, as a PDF, which is really, really cool. This is the easiest way you can convert any note that you have on your iOS device into a PDF. Moving on to the camera app. 
So on the camera app of your iPhone, you will have right here the button to record, the zoom in and out, you can switch the camera, but you will have all the other buttons at the top right there. Now, if you're using your iPhone with one hand and you want to just use one of those buttons, if you have one of the bigger iPhones, that will be quite hard. All you have to do here is just swipe up and it will change the buttons here, moving from the different camera modes to the buttons that you have on the top right there. So you can see every button that you have there will be here as well. So you will have the flash, the night mode right there, the live photo, which you can enable or disable from here. So basically everything, all the buttons that you need that you have on the top of the screen, you will have them right here at your finger. So you don't actually need to reach out for the top right there to change anything you want on the camera app. Here is one of the most basic iPhone tricks that a lot of people don't even notice or don't even use on their device. We're talking about the App Store. So we have two different ones actually here. We're talking about the App Store and Safari. Things that you can do much, much easier using these two tricks. First of all, on the App Store, if you're trying to go to your updates, you will have to open the App Store and then tap on your profile right there and then find the updates. All you have to do is just 3D touch on the icon, tap updates, and there you will have your updates. This is the easiest way to do this. This is really, really simple. Of course, nowadays a lot of people have actually forgotten about the 3D touch menus of iOS, which are actually very, very useful. And this one is even more useful on Safari. So try to open a private tab on Safari. Let me tell you guys what you have to do. You go to Safari and let's just move on to the normal tabs. So here, we're on the normal tabs, you wanna open a private tab. That's what you have to do, tab there, tab here to go to private, and then tap the plus button to start a private tab. Well, all you have to do from the menu, from actually the icon, just switch the touch, new private tab, and there you go. You wanna go back to the new tabs, new tab just like that. That's how easy you can switch between a private tab and a normal tab on Safari, from the 3D touch menu. Moving on to the keyboard. On your keyboard, you will have the emoji button right here at the bottom. Of course, you tap on it, it will take you to the emojis, tap back again to take you to your keyboard. But you can also tap and hold this button. Now it gives you a menu from where you can switch to the one-handed keyboard, of course, on both sides. You will also have the options to go to the keyboard settings directly from here. So tap and hold the emoji button and you will get way more options. And last but not least is not a trick, it's actually an app. This is a free app, Apple support from Apple. Go ahead and download it from the app store. Just search for Apple support. And this is one of the best apps that any iOS user can have on their device. Right here, you will have everything you need about your device. Starting from things like battery life, right here you can check the real battery health of your iPhone. Notice that when you update your device, it will actually drop on battery health. That's because the iPhone will calibrate, recalibrate the battery every time it updates. So if it's, let's say at 95% right now, you don't update for two or three months, it will most likely stay right there. And then when you update, it will probably drop two or three points. Well, with this, you can check it on real time. So you can do a battery battery check anytime you want, but you can do much more than that. So right here, if you go to more, you will have basically everything you need. Tips, tricks, and solutions for any problem that you might have with your iPhone. You can see things from charging, you will have here like keyboard, mail, notifications, like rotation right here, you can find different tips and tricks, anything you actually need, any problem that you might have on your device, you can find all the different articles right here. And these are directly from Apple that will help you have a better experience on your iPhone. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video and the tricks that you saw in this video. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you on the next one.